Usually there was at least a grenade on both sides, but with this stage it's a lot wider, so there's a lot more room to maneuver because of it. Right. Alright, oh. there's the setup, the Nikita. Gonna catch that boost kick before Mars can get anywhere close to the stage. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's the SS, that's what you have to do. Because jab one, two, three, very unsafe sometimes. Yeah. Here you should go. be boost kick, that's not gonna kill. Great positioning though. Avoid the grenades. Yup! Wow! <laughs> Just wow. goes for another one, and that one is gonna do it. Mars, 68.5% so far. You know, she's just so fast and her moves come out so quickly that she can get these really long extended punishes on those little whiffs and back throw into the C4, MVD. Yeah, these two really trying to find their way in. There we go. Starts with a paralyzer. That's a big conversion. Putting him on the off stage. Wow. Went real deep on it. It's gonna be able to make it back thanks to the wall. Oh, but can't catch the end lag on the directional air dodge and ready for the C4 as well. Yeah, just get the control. <gasps> he almost got the berry. F tilt, not enough. Across the stage, not quite. Nikita, up and he smash. gets in the up smash wow. barely in time. All right, catches uh, MVD in the air this time. Oh, that's the... gotta be it. Yeah, blaster boost kick. There we go. Oh, that's true. Starting off on PS2 here. This is losers top 12. This is a hand mover. No. No. <laughs> they're just they're just throwing out moves yeah. just cause. Wow, and Blutney starting off strong, already getting two grab combos. And continuing on, actually, he's not done yet. Grabs him in the air. Wow, Glutney! Glutney! <laughs> he's... That was a very wow. fast zero to death. That was about, you know, 17 seconds or so. Yeah. This R didn't even get to play the game yet. <laughs> and he didn't even start the combo for who knows how Oh, no way, no way! He's actually dead. Oh, he's not. Oh! He is? He is dead! Oh my gosh! Gluto, 1.2%, three stocks to Mr. R's 0% one stock. Yeah, Mr. <gasps> okay. okay, that time yeah. Mr. R was able to navigate around. He's like, okay, I seen the trick once. Let's try it again. <laughs> Messed up there. Made me thought he wanted to go for <gasps> I can't believe he did that, but that was his first stock. Okay, well, I mean, Gluttony has a lot of uh, a lot of room to mess up like that. So, he, yeah, I guess, I guess he was thinking, he's like, oh, why not? Let's go for another edge guard, see what it works. Yeah, he's pretty much almost taken this last stock, and there's a waft attempt not going to work, but the up smash off of the parry. That is going to work, and Gluto is going to take game one. Yeah, I really like the, the patience and just the way he's facing. Usually he's able to get something out of shield very quickly. Oh! All right. He racked up 100% and then really just died at 8. Mr. R is hunting for this last knock. All he needs is like a strong forward tilt. Jab back air. There yep. it is. Trying to find the extension. Okay, got the anti air. Yeah, uh, Prom has a lot of room to try and land. Ooh, tech chase. It's yeah. a forward smash. I think if he gets there early enough with the down air, it'll work out, but it hasn't so far. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. got an opportunity. Yes. That's what he was looking for. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, he doesn't bring his sword up with him. He, or like. Um, it doesn't start hitting at the yeah, top yeah, until yeah, he's yeah. at the apex. Right. Star got a little bit of catching up to do here. Yeah, and he, he's got an opportunity here. If he gets a jab into a back air at the right part of the stage, then he might get something. That's a waft. That's an early stop. Bluto looking great game four. Bluto, he is in solid control, and the slap going to take game five for Glutoni. He's put on 100% with almost no answers. Yeah. I, mean, I, I can see already, he's trying to be really slippery so that Light has a hard time catching him. Wow, dash back into the illusion. Yeah, nice. punted him right there. This is a very different Larry than we were talking about, I guess. Yeah, and Light, he really just has been off the mark with so many of his punish attempts. He almost died side being right there. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's gonna died die any, there. He died anyway. Yeah. yeah. In there. And Light, you know, he needs a big, big combo to get Wolf off stage and then maybe get an edge guard. <laughs> Right. Oh, oh my goodness. Was that Nair? That was a really late. Yeah, it was soft hit Nair. That was really late, though, on the side oh beat. It was like he waited to get onto the ground and then did it. It's a little bit harder for a wolf to approach from the air just because, you know, Fox is sitting underneath you. So you know, that's an easy, easy parry. Woo! Wow, tech chase from like great stuff after he lost that stock to the back air. Or back yeah. throw, the, the footstool into the tech chase up smash. That was great. And yeah. I love the little dash to elicit the reaction to go to the other side. Playing a little bit wow. of human psychology. Oh! Light is playing out of his mind. Oh man, if he got that second down smash, I actually would have quit commentary right there on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright man, Light, he's racked up quite a lead. Have you seen what Larry can do as far as putting damage on, on top of that? He's always got those dangerous side B confirmed. Yeah. All There's right. an up air. He got stuck on a the platform there. It looked like he tried to press a button and then like come back off of it, but... 
Yeah, looking for the grab. Larry, privy to that. Not going to let him do it. Oh, he catches him in the air. Oh, oh, and a down smash. I like that. The laser to try and set himself underneath. Gave him just enough time to get the down smash. Yeah, that was much earlier than Light would have liked to have ended oh. that stock. But he gets to end the stock. Wow, Light. Man, that was a nice trade from Light. Yeah. That's the first time he's gotten that. He's been looking for that all set. Oh, Light. A really poor position. Larry with the F tilt. That is not going to do it. Yeah. Needs maybe one more of those. Oh, and he goes that's for up. the up smash. Yeah, up smash punish, that's good damage, but I'm sure Light would like a little bit more uh, side B. This is really scary. Oh, he didn't opt to go in. I, I mean, it would have been risky to go for wow. there. Oh, there to up smash, still not enough to do it though. I got worried for a second there. Back throw. That's it. Oh my God. I didn't expect that to happen. Neither did Light. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. He's like in disbelief, like, damn, that actually killed me like that? Yeah, yeah. Wow. A quick 90%. I'm sure he did it also <laughs> after the, the parry. Yeah, he did parry, empty hop grab, and that down smash on the platform, that's gonna seal it out light. He will not go out without a fight. Yeah. Ooh, trying to finish down it off. Oh, uh -oh. he's dead. That's it. Light. Wow, that was. Shout out to the, to the Brawl team. <laughs> uh oh. Up at not quite gonna be able to find it. Light. He's got the control. Double jump from Larry. Up B. There's the down smash. Light. This is this is it's kind of destroying right now. Yeah, Light starting to get the tech chases now, so he's there definitely getting a lot more damage. This is this is Peak Fox. Yes. That probably beats Wolf. Wow. And he has been on point with the empty hop grabs. Uh-oh. There it is. Oh wait! Wait just a minute! Larry Lur brought that one back. Yeah, he did like a 1.1.2. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, okay, oh. okay, 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 okay. Oh, man. <laughs> and what we saw just a moment ago was Wadi was trapped on the platform and Joker went for a charge shot to kind of cover it. Wadi clearly has some experience in this matchup because he decided to wait until Joker was going to throw that charge shot out to do his get-up option. Uh oh All right, he's the pressure. He's there, really that's low, it. yeah. Joker with a huge lead. Uh-oh, that's a death. Charge shot. Depending on the character, it can hit uh, below or on the while they're hanging on the ledge. That and it, it's a, it's a difference between Samus and Dark Samus as well. Wow, he read that so hard. Oh, that's gonna be dead. Wow, that was almost dead actually. Yeah. Maybe one, one more of those. Yeah, yeah one more of those. Dang. Even up throw at this point. <gasps> that's a reflected charge shot, but he actually got hit by the later hits of the Roto arm or what's it called? But yeah, the arm rotor. Yeah, arm rotor. Dash attack gonna seal out the game for Joker. Joker is up 2-0. On Wadi. Okay, upper platform. train. Yeah, platform extensions uh, not available just because that gyro was sitting there. Nothing really that Joker could do. Yeah, didn't want to extend into it. That was very smart though that he did it. Oh my goodness! That almost worked, and it kind of did. I mean, it did work, but. That did work. He got yeah. the stock anyway. He got the stock for it. He got what the a stock for it. Yeah, what a that, dare? that was sick. He went really low on that. What are we looking for? He had the missile set up, but he went for the charge shot instead. Probably could have nared and taken the stock, but either way, Joker has got a huge lead here. Jab, jab two! Jab two! Jab kill two! Kill it at 180%! Joker is on fire, baby! I couldn't quite find anything yet. Dare sends him off stage. Joker is all over Wadi. Got sniped out by the laser, but still got options here. There's the back air. Joker's gonna do it! Joker with a 3 0 over Wadi. Samus gang, baby, let's go! Marks, he's got a huge lead Ooh. in that boost kick. Calling out the jump out of the bike from Gluto. Gluto definitely kicked himself for that one. Yeah. Do something to just get it going. He's not gonna save it for last, but now he will. Yeah, he's lost that stock. Unless he can find it right here. There yeah, it is. He decides to go for it. Oh, he it survived! It doesn't kill. That's really unfortunate that he was on the left side of him. He did that go for repair instead. Keeping up and changing his options. Mars. Carrying Gluto to the right side. Pluto waits for the down smash commitment. There's a Zare into the boost kick, and Mars taking game one. He's looking for like the one hit setups right now. He's looking yeah. for like up tilt, he's looking for up air. There it is. Yeah, great reversal of uh, opportunity though for Mars. Tried to get it again, but the double jump was saved. Still fine. There's the side B. It's a bit more percent for its kill. Oh! Zare to Zare, yeah. That was some. That was some new stuff. I don't yeah. think we've seen that. <laughs> a 
and Nair or an up tilt. He just gets so much damage off of it. Continuing on with the conversion. Tech chase scenario. Oh, oh wow. last time he was ready. And he gets the weak waff. That's gonna be a solid lead. That's huge for Gluto. That's death. Yeah, definitely. Being so careful in the neutral. I don't think either of these two want to go to a last stock scenario. But the parry wow. into boost kick. Not much that Gluttony could have done about that. He really thought he was going to be able to get that tracing in. Yeah, he used it up earlier, but I think even a small one might be able to do it depending on where they are. He's just got to figure out how to survive too. So that, never mind. No, no yeah. surviving here. Mars never with the mind. boost kick. Going to seal out game number four. Right, Mars. Set. This is one combo away, one string. You know, he lands one up air, he can get a lot more, but not that one. The waft is gonna miss 94% on Mars. This is huge for him that the waft is off the table. Now, Luto needs to find the kill in a more unnatural way than he's used to. Yeah, just being really careful, trying to figure out his way around. Getting around Gluttony, actually. There we go, tech chase scenario. That's really big, trying to go for double Nair. Trying to go for double grab. Glutony with the back air, and that's going to do it. Gluto takes it over Mars. He hasn't gotten a single combo, really. It's just been straight hit every so often. Yeah, the uh, laser damage is actually working out a lot, too. Another what tech a chase. legend, dude. Who does that? Joker's went off bear, and suddenly Joker's making this look like a good matchup. Yeah, but it's not over until the stock's over. Uh, other than that, then you, you're always in danger, man. Oh, oh, landed on him with the down air. Yeah. Stepped on him. Hey, you can't grab that. Uh oh, light not looking good. Oh the parry my on the goodness. illusion. That's also that will kill as well. But that up smash will also kill Joker. The Ridley switch working out. Ridley just won its first game in a PGR event. Is that funny? Or a PGR top eight with tilts and whatnot. So that's a huge, huge difference between Samus and Ridley. Is that Samus kind of needs you to come to her and to get set up, whereas Ridley doesn't need setup time. Ridley just gets. It. Yeah. But right now, kind of getting blown up on juggling at least. Like, kind of switching up game plans a little bit, going even more aggressive. Not enough room for the Nair to up smash, but still, yes, that's enough room for the back air. I don't know if it's Pokemon Stadium or just Light figured something out, but this is way, way different than last game. Yeah. Then jab combo, putting on some good percent. Joker, not able to follow that up. But an up smash catches him running off the platform. Yeah. Oh, ready Ooh. for the down air that time. Yeah. Yeah, Joe, I think, uh... Ooh, oh, caught him. Oh. caught him pressing a button off ledge. He tried to drop down and do something, but yeah. Light was having none of it. Yeah, Ridley's too big, man. Oh. <laughs> no less trump that time around. Yeah, I don't know if it, Even if he doesn't get the trump and he actually hits him, you know, I can spike. That's going to kill uh-oh. Oh, yeah. He's going to go to town on this punish right here. All the way to the top. Can he finish it off? Wait for a dare yeah. or something? Yeah, he was baiting out a dare. Yeah. Woo! I dare you. Woo! I dare you. Oh, man. He dropped yeah. right through the platform. He knew yeah. it was coming. Oh! oh that wow. one kills. Okay. Gets the grab. Throw a toss him off on stage. Is the option going to be? Okay. Down tilt. Almost killing, actually. Oh, oh, my goodness. He got him with the up B. And that is going to be game four for Joker. We're going to a game five. That was the weirdest way to get a SOG I've seen. Just outspace it and I'll smash you. Yeah, he's fishing for the Nair up smash, but this is looking dangerous. Another, yep. He's going to he's gonna die, I think. Oh, a trade. That's yeah, the back air. Great tech from Joker, too, to make sure he doesn't get uh, stage spiked. Yeah, 151% on Joker. Literally any move from Fox, a back air, an up smash. The only thing that won't really do it right now is like Nair, unless yeah. he gets the strong hit by the ledge. That's pretty much it. That's going to be a regrab. Oh, another one. He's oh, my God. Light's anything. not respecting it. Just shield at the ledge. Oh, oh my and goodness. he went high that time. Light really respected that a little bit. He broke oh. his shield. Oh my goodness, Rogue's very own Light managing to pop the bubble right at the end of the set. Game five, last stock, and man, Ooh. that was that was a show. Oh man, get hit off stage though. He's gonna have the shield art with the up B, makes it back. Wow, really good stuff. And now that he has the shield art, he's trying to pump it out of him. Gets the jab and look at this corner pressure, but the up B out of shield will relieve of all this pressure that Shuzon was applying, but the back air will eventually connect. Okay, but that doesn't get Shuzon out of the danger zone just yet. Already at 87% and with smash mode available because 
We did just see Kome lose his stock. Here he comes. Ooh. And the down air. Oh. I'm not even going to try to go for the forward air. I'm going to hit you with something different, and that's going to be that down air. And with the smash art, Almar is getting obliterated in that situation. Oh, come. Now jump mode. He's really going to go off stage. Okay, but the up B, he doesn't fully connect. He doesn't pull the trigger on that second one. That's actually in part because of jump mode. Yeah. He didn't it, launch him high enough. Well, I think he got launched too high. Like, yeah, he didn't get launched high enough to match up with that jump art. So, wow. But the up tilt, okay. Going to take it. A double up air. You only got a single up air to follow. So there's another up air. And these up airs continue to rack up 84%. And a red Pikmin on Bowman Wall. He has to get back out to the left. Down smash. Big down smash from Tucson. Look at how hard it was that whole time. Look, Shuton still has the double purple lineup. He goes ahead and throws one out, forces a high recovery, and then covers the jump with the second purple Pikmin. Very, very beautiful play coming out from Shuton here. Yeah. Oh, the up air not coming out. Wow, the jump art up B. I had a feeling like, man, is Shuton going to go off the top here? Because it's so <laughs> high up in the air. He was, in fact, very high. So where's the grab? Okay, the air slash is going to whiff, and that's a big up smash from Shuton. Okay, dash grab, gonna go with the spot dodge. Kome setting up another offstage situation here. Has to get all these pesky Pikmin off of him. He's taking a lot of damage. And it takes a multiple moves too, so that's kind of important. That's just more time that he's committing to uh, not pressuring Shuton. Ooh, wow, and Shuton, man. He, this guy has so many mix-ups, but just gonna do it. Gonna probably catch a jump, maybe even a roll. But really good stuff from Kome. And he's just gonna get that up -y right by the edge. Checking all the cooldown on his uh, Monado arts there. Okay, back to the Buster, wants to rack up a little bit more damage here, and honestly, he's in a position where it's like, eh, if, I, if I take more damage, it kind of doesn't matter. I mean, the pace of play has been working out for him here in Game 4, but a very early uh, directional air dodge is going to get punished by Kome, and we see another fist bump. I mean, most of those early stocks were from uh, Kome just going a little bit too low. Yeah. Okay, but jump mode is online, and a forward air connect. Ooh! Wow, and look at how quickly he shuffles through all these Monado arts, man. But right into the jump, right after he gets the jump, he uses his double jump while the jump is active, switches right in the shield, and it's just time and time again, he knows exactly when and where to switch in between these in such a short notice. Yeah, and that, that's the scary thing about Shuton. Like, he, of course, he has, like, very great uh, neutral, can be defensive, but Shukon, Shuton also has the ability to turn it on as well. Oh, okay. man. Shield, smash mode, oh, forward throw. Dude. He's going to run off forward air. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? What's the edge guard? It's going to be the up -y? No. Up -y? All the way. Oh, and there it is, the up -y. Okay, he's still alive, though, but no double jump. He's going for forward air, but it's not enough to take a stock. Shuton still able to recover. Wow, and the forward air does connect, and another pop-off here from Kome as he advances to the winner's finals of Switch Fest 2019. So, yeah, it was like, it was like the games were kind of close, but for the most part, T was in control the whole time. So. Well, maybe Kamehameha saw something that uh, wow. T was not... Maybe he saw a weakness within that matchup that he saw uh, that T was having difficulty with. As you can see right now, he's able to just pick up that stock with a half walk. Yeah, I, I was actually really interested. He got the bell stun, but he, he opted to use his waft over a, a smash attack. What, what type of highway robbery can you pull out? Oh, man. I'm pretty sure that was a waft. I, I, I can't imagine why you would pull out the bike in that situation. Oh, man. But there it is. The bell connects. and Really one of those... Uh, Standoff situations. Oh man, and T just has all these mad reads. That's another thing that uh, Pac-Man, just the raw, oh my goodness, wow, T just turned it up. He didn't even set up, he, there was no patience there, there was just, just, I got the hardest read on you, you're gonna push a button, take this belt. Okay, T going extremely high with the double jump and the side B here, gonna lay down the hydrant and land right back in, but wow, what a read coming out from Kamehameha, he read that ages ago. Not, not, he's dead? Wow, right into the apple. What? Ooh, that was crazy. Me. Yep, every time you do eat something, you take a second off the walk timer. So usually you'd see the full walk at six minutes, which we just got to. But since he has been eating items, but there it is. And T just staying patient, not letting Kamehameha find a way in. But we see T in these setups covering uh, himself with the hydrant and breaking the hydrant with the bell. It's actually preventing Kamehameha from eating the bell. So it's keeping it in play. Dude, okay, so this is crazy. This is the last walk. Oh! This is the last walk. Wait. Use it for he has to, he yes, has he to. has to. He has to. He has to. And now he's not going to get another walk that's going to kill. And so not even half walk is going to be able to make it out in time. Yeah, exactly. That, that was the last walk, and he had to use it for the recovery. What a great situation for T, forcing him off that bike. 
But he did just get forward aired off the stage, and now F tilting 99% on the T. So 25 second mark. We are oh, approaching in the. Just this deficit is continuing to grow for T. Back air lands, and that's going to be it for Kamehame. And the pop off coming through. Man, T is hurting, man. There was less than 30 seconds on the clock there. It was so, so close, but Kamehame able to clutch it out and using the waft for something we usually don't see it for. So there's another fortune. He's doing a really good job with all this ledge driving, all this offstage. He's not getting the sweet spots, but at least he's keeping him there. Another grab, the ledge trap, and the edge guarding continues here for Gluto. He continues to go offstage, making it very difficult to tell when he's actually going to pull the trigger. Is he going to throw out the forward air? And there it was. Last stock for Gluto, 141%, almost max rate. Can he make a waft happen? Yes, and the big asterisk here is he's made the comeback on the second stop oh, without oh. the waft. Do we have the setup? He goes for the reset, but shoots on swings back. Such a smart swing. Most of the time, players will start getting hit, especially with a against uh, Wario who has full waft, and they start to panic. Shoots on, keeping his composure. Wow, Light getting uh, a little feisty here for this kill. Wants the up smash, but that is definitely something he's known for, is nailing the setups or nailing these raw up smash. Right there, we see the classic, the Nair up smash. Why, why, why use something that's you know, a classic? Classics are there for a reason. Oh man, Light returning to sender here with this shine. But where'd the bell go? It went straight up <laughs> into the skies. <laughs> Got rashido man. Straight rashido Oh, you know, no. Light ate that boot. Oh, yeah. And I mean, we we point out time and time again, there's so many tricks when it comes to T, man. He, he knows all these water properties, you know. And there's the stun. And there's another forest match. He got stunned up at 70% and died in yeah. this game. It is uh, has a lot of, it's a lot laggier, but it's a lot larger. And just up smashes in general out of shield got quicker. So really good stuff for Fox here. Okay, well, oh, whoa. Whoa. what? That hit, oh, oh, what was that goodness. interaction? That was a lot of damage from what I saw. So much damage. Galaga into Hydrant into Galaga. F smash isn't even that quick. Like, it's kind of quick. But, like, he's just reading him really hard for these kills. So That's true. He has a lot. Oh, oh we went for the double bell setup. That, that was, was dirty, and you do not deserve that team. <laughs> <laughs> going to get punished there. Uh, he's going to have to be careful. And if Light can start shooting some of these forward smashes or whip punishing them, he can get some up smashes. Oh, There's the, the shine! He sent it right back. Return to sender. This is just T doing a really, really great job against Light. But right there, Light just hitting it, baiting T to think like, oh, this is perfect time, and then just shining right in his face. Very smart. And then raw up smash. You saw the approach from T. He's like, it's it's a kickflip son. Air into up smash. Now T falling back another dare into up smash. But great DI is going to keep T in the game. Oh, man. I saw the Mario Kart DI coming out from T, man. He was like <laughs> leaning in with it. Oh, wait. Definitely but here's the Galaga gotta, combos. Got to put everything you have oh! into it. Oh! Raw wow. F Smash not going to anti air when T needed it. And Korean, we have another game five situation. Okay, but the ledge trapping continues. The Nairs tries to catch him with the full hop fair, doesn't connect. But the wow, the water actually interrupting the grab. But Light not scared to throw out the downside. And see, like little stuff like that, that's how you know. That's how you know he's comfortable with the matchup. <laughs> okay, and the key is online, but a directional air dodge. That's going to put him in the lag, but only getting a forward air for a punish. T slowly extending this. Percent lead. T is swatting him out of his air approaches every single time. I know you want to jump over the hydrant. I'm going to intercept you with the hitbox. And there's the forward smash on the rapid jab. And T is going to take it over light. Game five. <laughs> going, <laughs> going over to Team Japan and hugging him up, man. Beelined it for Team Japan because they are popping off and he's popping off with them. He's got a lot of support here wow. at Switch Fest. And even, look at that. Look at that. The good sportsmanship. After. Yeah, yeah, good sportsmanship coming out. And both these players just really putting on a show. And Kome will get in and do big damage, make big plays. Meimei, he's playing the slow and steady game. Oh, but well, slow and steady, wow. I guess that's one way to turn it up from slow and steady. <laughs> Going to go ahead and get that saw blade confirmed right into the up toe. It looked like a true combo here. Capitalize on the edge guarding. But Mega Man has one of the best recoveries in the game. Even okay. after, he can up B and then double jump. As I say, he edge guards him. <laughs> he can up B. Off stage. Demo does come out and cool. Getting the link for the up tilt or the up air. And oh, going so deep. But he interrupted him. Wow. Right after the whiff forward air, Kamehameha was like, actually, let me just a little poke right here. Play evasive and make yeah. it very difficult to land a hit while he's in uh, smash mode. Are you dead? He's oh, not dead man. Yet. Not dead yet. Oh, man. Can he get the. Oh, oh! he gets the forward smash. No way. Kome just sneaks that game right under Kameme's nose.
thought that directional air dodge to the, to the ledge was safe, my man. Negative. 173%. This fighting robot is still alive. Ledge jump. Switching right into the shield art. Then switching into the smash art for the up B. What a way to shuffle through all these Monado arts. Komei's insane. Buster mode work in his favor, but good tech chase. Good read from Kamehameha. Oh, oh I grabbed it? Yeah, using the directional air dodge to actually grab the saw blade. Oh, man, that uh, that down air was looking real, real close. We're forcing Kamehameha off stage. Oh, oh metal yeah. blade into back air. Couldn't switch to the shield art fast enough. I believe it was still on cooldown. Yeah, I, I don't want to take the buster mode gamble You can right have now. center stage. Yeah. I don't need it. Okay, looking like it needs it right about now. Okay, nicely timed neutral air dodge there. Some people will panic and just opt for the directional air dodge, which is a lot laggier. And I said it. Earlier, and wow, Kameme does deliver. Oh, gets the grab combo, and that saw blade is so good. You get so many follow-ups off of it. Nair, down air. Wow, what's the what? setup here? Ooh, going to catch him high. There's no double jump, but the platform saves Kameme. Gives him all his resources back. That is so unfortunate. Because this is his counter pick. Yeah. <laughs> the Oh man, the, the the counter pick betrayals, dude. It's real. Sometimes, oh man, it, like that. I just, it, I feel like right when that platform thing happened, I was like, it's over. Yeah. Back here does poke it now. Homei is chasing Kameme all over Pokemon Stadium too. And right now, Kameme, even when he's in the corner, he's still taking his time. He's crouching. He doesn't have to rush into things. But the falling up air, hit number two. Wow. The forward airs. Oh, Ooh. man, the pump fake got the spot dodge, but where are you going? The smash art finally gets drained out. Kameme does not want to deal with that. But oh, give him the charge shot, though. Yeah. That's going to put Kameme up a stock. And that's just such a great oh, cross stage. Yes, it is going to be with the smash art. And now we're here. Man, game number four. Last stock of peace. Both these competitors playing so, so well right now. Yeah. Oh, man, you got to watch out for all the saw blade tricks. Kome has a bunch of tricks with the Monado art, but of course, uh, good bait. Yeah, and I mean, right into the shield art, too. The guarantee that landing go right through that tornado. Komei needs to find center stage. He finally gets it. How long can he hold it for? Not too long. Kamehameha just throws him right back out. Keep him on line. But with smash mode, he's not going to be able to make it back. And, and Kamehameha takes it. Over Komei here in winner's finals. Gets the gimp. And I'll tell you what, man. Shulk definitely has that crazy off stage, but he can get gimped as well. And Kamehameha showing that. Going to take it 3-1 over Kome here, Switch Fest 2019 Winners Finals. Oh, Everyone else has put their heads down. Already taking this first talk while we were talking about how great Japan is in the PR. I believe I saw a blue, but oh, yeah. there it is, man. Blue Pikmin coming right through just as I shouted him out with the backer. You usually see the blue Pikmin getting the throw kill, but that's a three stock. All right, well, I mean, T still can get this stock fairly easily. Wow, that key took out like two to three Pikmin there. Jeez. Yeah, the key does not discriminate. It takes out all the Pikmin. Okay, another forward air. Even utilizing the trampoline to his own advantage. Shoots on point, uh, slowly wrecking the damage onto T. And I love that he went for that lead drop double jump there there. Oh, and the forward smash is going to seal it out. Very convincing. Not a three stock, but, you know, two stock low percent. Pretty close. He's kind of staying a little bit more grounded right now. Yeah, I feel like the that's, like, such a great mix-up because, like, the arcs that the... You know, the bell and the key have are so, so different. Oh, but a forward smash? It just kept going. going. <laughs> That's so funny to see, like, a forward smash hit someone as all Mars and hit Sun. Like, <laughs> what just happened? And that Pikmin had its orders. Pull me once, pull me twice, pull me three times. I don't think so. Yeah, exactly. Oh, the key almost. Really good setup from uh, from T there. Oh, tries to get the forward air, but look at this movement. Look at this recovery from Shutan, but it's all for nothing. The back throw, the yeet will get him out of here. Okay, jabbing Shutan shield, and guess what? That's going to be the famous back air from Shutan. Okay, ooh, there's the nair, and right now T is making such quick work, and the forward smash is going to take Shutan out. T will take it 3-1. And with the Smash R2, um, it can be hard to have these combo strings because there's increased knockback onto uh, both Shulk and his opponent. Exactly. Okay, back to the leg. What? Uh, falling up air, looking like up smash too. What? That connected. Okay, back air going to poke through the platform or through the hydrant and T as well. Yeah, it went through the hydrant, went through the cherry, hit T as well, and oh my goodness. That is something we don't see Kome go for that often, the Smash Art. Smash or forward smash, right? Another grab here. Great damage, putting him 
back off stage in the same situation. Looks like we're gonna get a switch to the smash art. No, oh, wow, no forward air. It just eats up that bell. Stalling out as long as he can, gets the up B, and I don't know if that was unteckable or not. I mean, might have, oh, wait. Oh, tried to get the double stun there. Uh, the shield art was it was gonna make it so he wasn't gonna die from that smash attack follow up. Yeah, and that's of course T completely expected. I did get a second stun, but not enough. Only a, only a back air to, for a real punish. Wow. <laughs> Off the water once again, hits him towards the hydrant and just is running into the hydrant eventually as he gets through, goes for the up tilt, and just like that, you stage spike me. I'm gonna pay you right back with this stage spike. Oh, the dash attack, but that's gonna whip. Man, this is so, so close. Kome with, like, on his last leg, man. I mean, in terms of this game, oh, oh he's barely surviving. T really wants this game five situation. The backer connects on the shield art. Directional air dodge back to the ledge here. Can Kome get his footing back? Where's the key gonna come out? Is he gonna utilize it? There it is, and the hydrant catches. We have another game five. Interesting that the back throw with smash mode online wasn't enough to take the stock from T. And air slash coming out for a quick jab. Gonna make work at that position, but run back F smash. With yeah. speed mode. I'm pretty sure hard press to go to that shield mode, but it's on cooldown. Why isn't T approaching? T is big chilling right now. He's waiting. Maybe the the Oh, oh wow. I know I said we didn't see like big damage combos earlier in the set, but wow, there was the one. He was in Buster Art the whole time, bro. <laughs> and I think the shield art was down as well. There was nothing he could do. And shield art was not enough to save him from getting hit by S Net. If it did activate on timing, he wouldn't have died. So, wow, just maybe a little bit too slow or maybe just T being a little bit too quick here for Kome. Okay, we see the tipper hit of up air and then up. Whoa. No way! No. no way! What? Okay. <laughs> that ain't right, bro. Okay, he has the full waft on deck here. Yeah, now that he can chill and just rack up this damage, he has the rage to back it up. Honestly, War at 125%. This character is very heavy. As long as he doesn't get hit by the bell, he'll be living for quite some time. And just as I say, he gets the bell. Okay, the bell's online though. Kameme definitely respecting it here. And there it does connect, but the bell is gone. Really, he needed that bell because guess what? We got a half waft out of shield. Because you get a hitbox when you come up from that T. Oh, again, look at the mix ups. He's not throwing the bell at him, throws it away, gets it in his hand. So, and then comes back in and throws him right at his face where he least expects it. And oh, the patience coming out from both yeah, of them. Yeah, both of them just looked at each other like, you got that bell, though. He's just <laughs> like, yeah, I got that bell. I don't know about that, though. Well, <laughs> your problem. <laughs> uh, I got two stocks, bro. <laughs> and at 170, oh, that man. strawberry was sure was enough to actually take the stock, but forcing Kamehameha to recover low, allow T to get the down air. Uh, T's slowly been utilizing throughout this set and the previous one. Kamehameha still has three stocks, and he has the full waft. As, literally as the word is coming out of my mouth, Kameme brings it out, gets the hard read, and reacts very, very well. Man, he's up three stocks to one now on T. He's going to land, and that's going to be the first stock. Still two to go, and we see double clap on the T. Oh, with the double kicks coming out. Ooh, Whoa! Oh, oh. Okay, does he have the bite? No. no he, that what? was the quickest stock I've seen. Dude, this Pac-Man goes in, bro. The bike was all the way to the left. Oh, maybe he can utilize the waft out of shield, but a forward air does connect. Both these players being at a high percent stuff. A waft out of shield is going to clutch it out. That you you can you gotta watch out for the gala. You gotta watch out for the grab if he's really percent against Pac-Man. Okay, jumping off stage and taking the time to utilize, but Ooh. there's the full waft that was making great use of that. Putting T on what could possibly be his final stock. Yeah, but I mean, if you're if you're Kamehame at this point, you don't really have to take risks. You you wait till your half walks up, and then you can pretty. M oh no! Oh. He tried to avoid the bonus group, but was not quite there. Now we're in trouble. Now we're last stock. Yeah, we are last stock, but just think about the advantage that Kamehame has. He's at low percent. Yes, we saw a stock get evaporated uh, in last game, but drop down back air. And yep, there it is. He will take it over T. Kameme not dropping a single set here at Switchfest 2019. Both players hugging it out. Great stuff to Team Japan, man. They came out, they obliterated, obliterated everyone. They were top four. Good stuff to them, man. And we got to see so many unique character matchups and both, like all four of them just playing their hearts out. That's right, especially T. You know, he did such a phenomenal job here. Just not over, just not able to overcome the wall that is Kameme and him taking his victory lap. Hold up that trophy. 
really high. He's like, he's like, where do I look? Where, where am I looking with this trophy? All right. Camera? No, man. Look at the people. <laughs> the people. Show the people. All right, yeah, good. And you can hear everyone applauding. Very, very great and respectable play. And it looks like the fat man will take it over the Pac-Man. Wow.